everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Did not upload yesterday, which hurt my feelings. But I'm back here today, Brad. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Really don't even know why no video was posted yesterday. I got ready to do it, and then, you know, we fell behind and everything like that. But we're back here today. We're, we're, we're good. We're good now. Let's center this. How about, how about that? How about that? As you guys will see, Matt Hardy was not out for surgery. The anesthesia didn't work. Look at him. He's coming alive there on the stretcher, and I guess we can go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today. We got some epic stuff going on, so let's go ahead and just dive straight into it. All right, let's get into our AEW Unrivaled Series number four. Now, I couldn't really think of anything else to do with the rest of our series simply because, well, first of all, Kenny Omega, I only have one copy of that figure. I wish I had like 17 of them, but that's not realistic right now. Maybe I'll find them at retail and we can get some more in here to do some torso swaps on my series one maybe my extra aew ring version we, we have some versions that we need to create obviously but today we're gonna get matt hardy in here and i think we have cody featured as well so we we did get some of the set in here matt hardy you guys know this guy has oversized feet right i mean these feet are massive like just look at them they're not as bad as hangman of course but they are still pretty john brown large i'm gonna take my extra jericho right here my my series one jericho and i'm gonna switch his feet and you guys will see the feet comparison. They're not like overly smaller, but they're just enough smaller and they have a good shape to them. I think that it's going to work out good to switch these out and I think it will look okay. I think it'll actually improve the figure a lot. So that is something we're going to be doing with Matt Hardy and Chris Jericho. I'll show you guys how to do that. Shouldn't be too difficult of a challenge. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to lower his height just yet, but maybe we can figure that out as time goes on. Let's move on to the next one, guys. As you guys will see here, we do have our extra Cody Rhodes series number four head sculpt right here. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Brad, why don't you put the smiley head sculpt on what you're about to put this on? And the reason I'm not doing that is because I don't have any extras just yet. Once I get an extra smiley face, I know I ordered two of the ringside exclusive Cody. I will probably use the extra smiley head sculpt that comes with that figure because I ordered two, like I said. I'll probably use my extra smiley from that to put onto this figure. So what we're going to be doing is making a suited Cody figure. I think the gray suit looks really good right here. We're going to remove this Seth Rollins man bun. This isn't really even a man bun. It's more of a ponytail, if you will. We're going to remove this Seth Rollins ponytail head sculpt and we're going to put on this Cody Rhodes. Again, the smiley head sculpt's obviously going to... The smiley head sculpt would look better, no doubt about it. I don't, you know, I don't have any issues with that. I think that is a for sure thing, but since I, you know, I want to leave that on my Series 4 for now. Really enjoy that smiley head sculpt, so I'm going to put this extra Series 4 serious Cody onto this body and we'll make a suited Cody for the time being. And it'll look a lot like that render image that Jeremy Padauer posted. That, that AEW rendered like Mattel suit body with the smiley Cody face on there. It'll look a lot like that. But moving on up, guys. Getting into the other things that we're going to be getting into. Starting out first, I guess we can just get into Roman Reigns, guys. You guys know this is the MDT Roman Reigns or the, you know, the black attire right here. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to take my MDT Roman right here and we're going to put on my custom head sculpt from BE so the thicker beard, you know, the shave size, the really just handsome looking Roman head sculpt. I'm going to take this and put it over here. I think that'll look freaking beautiful. And I might actually order an Elite. I don't know if I'm going to order an extra Elite 79, an extra Elite 84, or if I should just wait on the Elite 88 Roman Reigns that we're going to be getting. Like, that's going to be a while. That'll probably be, I don't know. We'll just have to, you know, we'll find out exactly how everything's going to go. But this head sculpt over here will look fantastic. I'm hoping that the Elite 88 looks like this. Uh, or like just an improved version of this and then an improved version of our man bun version. Hopefully that will be the case there. So we're going to put that Roman head onto our MDT Live Roman. And then the last few things that we're going to do, guys, we're going to take my extra fins right here and turn them into New Japan fins. Now the only thing we're going to be doing is head swapping them. And I'm going to arm swap this because you guys can see he's got the black paint down his arms. If you guys remember that episode of Vindication where the, you know, he, he get with the, the dream sequence, you guys get, this is dream sequence fin right here. So I'm going to take these arms off and put on these white wrist tape arms. And then I'm going to put on one of my interchangeable New Japan Devitt head sculpts. And that will be the base for a new Finn Balor or Prince Devitt, if you will, custom that we're going to be doing later on. But that'll be my base. I'll have that ready to go. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. This is my terribly sculpted Finn Balor head sculpt that just looks god awful. It looks god awful. But we're going to take this head off and then put the smiley. Prince Devitt head sculpt on there to make more New Japan Prince Devitt's down the line. So that will be something else that we do, and that should be relatively easy as well. 
And then our final bit of surgery that we have today, and one I, re you know, I really don't even know how it's gonna go just yet. I don't know my formula that I want to do, but you guys can kind of see what we got going on, right? We have my Man Bun Rollins head sculpt that BEW did that looks super fantastic. I love the way that figure came out. And then we have my Mean Gene Okerlund suited body, and then we have my Paul Ellering. Now, I think what I, I've decided to do now, I, I play with it a lot. You guys know I have my Slammy Award winning Seth Rollins. I was just gonna put this head sculpt on there, but I didn't like, I didn't like the idea of breaking down my Slammy Award winning Seth and then creating a new one and then having to recreate the Slammy Award. So I left my Slammy Award Seth over there and I'm going to recreate something here. I think I'm going to take these arms and this jacket off and put these arms and this jacket on here to give him a red tie with black suit and then the Man Bun Rollins head sculpt on there to give us like a promo suited Seth Rollins. I think that's what I want to do. It may turn out garbage. I may have to fit it. I'm in the process of making more promo attires and stuff like that for MDT Live. So we'll just have to play around with that and everything. We're not going to get usage out of all of our custom head sculpts because the Roman Reigns one is already on the hoodie that we already took a look at. The Finn Balor Bane one is already on his base. And then the Seth Rollins one with the hair down. I didn't know what body I wanted to put this on. I know what body I want to put it on, but I can't show you the body that I want to put it on. Wink, wink, wink. So let's just shut the hell up and dive into the surgery, guys, before I freaking want to just eat my eyebrows like scrambled eggs. All right, guys, so starting out first, I guess we can get into our Finn Balor's. I feel like the Finn Balor should be relatively simple. We just got to heat up this head sculpt right here, which does have sculpt on it. It'll probably rip the sculpt up or tear it off like Neville's beard. I don't really give a goofy god dang. So we're going to do that. We're also going to be heating up these arms as well as this head sculpt. Another thing about this head sculpt, guys, is look at the warped jaw on this guy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but his jaw is completely warped. It looks like his jaw is dislocated or something. So we're going to heat that up right there. We're also going to heat up our white taped arms for Finn Balor. These Elite 74 Finn Balor arms. Going to heat these up as well. Should be a pretty good football game right there. And then we might... Uh, I feel like we could probably... I feel like we could heat up the Seth Rollins head as well. I don't think that would be an issue. So maybe we could just stick this guy right here. And we probably need to heat up this Cody head sculpt a little. And we might actually be able to heat up the Jericho and Matt Hardy feet as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and attempt it. You know, we may fail miserably, but you know what, Brad? I think that'd be okay today. But before we do that, you guys know, what do we do? The first thing, order of business is taking off any entrance coats, jackets, accessories. Get them out because it will warp and it will, it'll, it'll hurt your feelings. All right, so we're going to take that and we're going to lay this on top right here, I think. All right, I don't know how good this is going to go, man. I don't, uh, I'm already, uh, I can already just sense the headaches and the migraines and the hey, hey, it hurts me. All right, white trusty hair dryer coming up. About to pop it in the snipsies and get it gip gipsies. Here we go. God, don't let me embarrass myself in front of my audience. I don't know how long that was sitting there like that, but uh, I gotta fix it now. All right, guys, let's see if this works out. I'm kind of scared because of the little F up, and I don't know how long it was on there and wasn't on there, and I'm just going to remove this Matt Hardy feet right quick like so. The feet for the AEW figures is really weird. It's just like a peg at the bottom, which is very strange to me, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get the Jericho feet onto the Matt Hardy right here. This is the left foot, so hopefully this will just pop in here. Oh, that's a little odd right there. I don't know. I don't know if he has a little something special going on there, young man, or or what that is, but let's just see if we can pop that onto there. All right, we actually got the Matt Hardy pretty good. Uh, I'll attach the Jericho at a later date, but the Matt Hardy is finished. Pretty quick work right there. Uh, Seth Rollins head sculpt is off. I don't know how well this Cody head sculpt is going to go on here. Huh, that actually worked pretty fast. That was, damn. You know, a little something special going on there, young man. We'll take a look at that at the at the end. And then last but not least, we have these Finn Balors, which should go really simple. All right, pop that off. These arms are fine. Oh my God, what the blue hell is that? Are you looking at that? L was that there? Was that there? Look at that. I've never seen a torso gap like that. Are you looking at that? What, what in the blue hell is that? Bro, I've never seen that in my entire life. Very, very weird. Very weird indeed. 
speed. All right, let's just pop this fin head sculpt off. I'll put those in the Finn Balor fodder baggie. Ripping off the extra arms right here with the, with the like, symbiote black stuff going on. Attaching the white wrist tape arms. I got black paint on the back here. Go ahead and get that off real quick. Probably should do it after I get the arms on. But here comes the other arm. And then, all right, now I gotta get that in position. Like, dude, look at this difference right here. Look at this. Has anyone ever seen a gap like that? Was that like that? I don't remember that being that way when I first looked at it. I could be wrong, but that is crazy weird. It's like it just bowed out right there or something. Anyways, we gotta put our Finn Balor or Prince Devitt head sculpts onto these. It really doesn't matter to me which one's which, because, I mean, they're gonna get painted regardless, so. Oh my God in heaven. Uh. Hopefully this will go on here pretty decent. Ugh. All right, got the one Finn head on there. Or Devit head, I gotta, Devit, not Finn. Devit, 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 damn it. And then we got our other Devit, Smiley Devit, New Japan Devit. Ugh. That was good, that was a great little pop right there. All right. We'll take a closer look at our debits at the end. All right, now our next order of business is going to be Roman Reigns and Seth freaking Rollins. All right, guys, so you guys know before we even get into the John Brown thing, good thing is that I don't have to heat up my man bun Rollins. Actually, I don't think we have to heat up anything with the Seth Rollins. I think that's just gonna be park switching. So for Roman, why didn't we heat up Roman with the rest of them? Tell me that. How about you explain that one to me? We're gonna take off his black vest right here, which is actually kind of a pain in the ash to get off. I'm not gonna lie to you, but... We will get it off. This is, of course, our Roman Reigns from Hell's Gate. See, the only thing I don't like about this is the tattoo gap. That bothers the hell out of me. However, that's why I said I could just remake this. It's not like this was just impossible to recreate. I could recreate this in my sleep if I wanted. So that is the only good thing about this Roman, but uh, we will probably remake this. I feel like a black hoodie on here would look really good or something. Regardless, we gotta switch this head sculpt, so I am gonna heat this up real quick. We'll pop it off and we'll get them, we'll get them going, and then we'll do our Seth football Rollins and see what all we did. I think this is a pretty, pretty damn good of, pretty damn good day of surgery right now, Brad. Not like an epically long episode, but we, we did a lot of good work here today. All right. God, I'm afraid. All right, we got that. No damage, it seems. It seems we came out on the other side in good spirit. I'm gonna let that cool down for a minute. If the Elite 88 Roman doesn't have the back tattoo, because think about how badass he's gonna look in the Fed with the back tattoo. Jesus Christ. Now let's check on our Roman head, and let's see if we can get this on here without any troubles. All right, all right. Here we go. Plopping it on. Oh my God. Ugh. I think that's it. Is that it? I think we got it. Ah, look at him. Oh, you can't even see him. Disappointment. Well, I guess we can look at that Roman at the end then, and we will move on to Seth Rollins, and then we'll take a look at everything we've done here today. Now, the Seth Rollins shouldn't be very hard, so taking our pieces right here, we have the Mean Gene, and we have the Paul Ellering, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off Mean Gene's head, pop off the suit arm. These are Build-A-Figures, so you know, or the, I guess this, this Mean Gene really isn't a Build-A-Figure, but he kind of is. Now we just gotta slide off the this red jacket. Red jacket, black jacket, who gives a who? Ugh, look at that. I need to make an Agent 47 out of that right there. That'd be pretty fire. All right, now what we have to do is take our Paul Ellering arms. Jesus Christ, man. You got a little something special going on there, young man. Ugh. You know what? Pop your head off first. God. Finally got that arm off. The other arm. Jesus, those were, those were very difficult. Anyways, slide this vest off. Boom. Lucy Goosey fidget spinner waist. I just, I just adore that. I just realized that Paul Ellering has no articulation on that figure. Pretty sad to see. Now, I guess I could make a mean jean with a sweater underneath if I had to, but now we're gonna pop this on here. Slide the black jacket over the red tie and white shirt. Bam. Now slide these arms in here. If they'll actually go, will they go? They should go. And then this one. Damn you arm. Ah, the arm won't stay in for some stupid ass reason. Like, I don't know, like, why does this arm go in perfect? This arm fits perfectly. You're gonna tell me this arm doesn't go in here? You're gonna tell me that? Oh my God, you know what? Just for the sake of the video, we'll make it just sit in there and look okay. And now I'm gonna put the John Brown Seth head on here. 
and you're gonna like it. that there, and bam. Does that, does that work? Looks pretty John Brown good to me. Hell yeah, that looks, they got a little something special going on there, young man. But now, let's take a closer look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, so looking at everything we did here today on Action Figure Surgery, I'd say it was an outstanding day of surgery. Let's start off with our Cody in suit right here. Again, would love to see the smiley head sculpt on here, but the serious one still looks pretty damn good. I'm, I'm actually really satisfied with that. Now I have an MJF in suit. I got my Cody in suit. I mean, I don't know what else you could want besides it being the smiley head sculpt. Of course, this fits perfectly. I think we look great. We also have our Seth Rollins suited body. They're pretty much in the same thing except the Seth Rollins has a black jacket and pants and shoes and this one has gray with the brown shoes. But you guys can let me know down below what you, you know, which one you like better. I still haven't gotten this arm completely in. Maybe I can solve that. I think also this would look better in a, in like a full black colorway. Like if the tie was black, shirt was black, everything was black, it would look a lot better. But this is what we have so far and I'll take it. I think they both look really, really good. So Cody and Seth turned out fantastic. But as far as the rest of them go, I think the Roman Reigns, I mean, it's virtually the same thing. It's just an updated head sculpt, right? Beard looks better. Hair on the sides looks really good. This is just bona fide bloodline MDT Roman Reigns right there. That's absolutely gorgeous city right there. That's my MDT champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have Matt Hardy right here. Matt Hardy is improved, I think. He's still too tall, which we'll try our best to solve to the best of our ability. But for the time being, the foot swap actually did a lot, man. I think it looks way better. Even though it was just a subtle change, I think it made it look a lot better. Now, I'm not sure about the articulation. Like, I'm not sure how well or how much it changed the articulation. I, I have to, like, you know, go back and look at that. Felt like it may have changed just slightly, but nothing too crazy or chaotic. But Matt Hardy is looking good. I like the way that came out. And then the Devitts, uh, I mean, they pretty much speak for themselves. They'll look a lot better once, you know, the attires are changed. But for the time being, as a base Prince Devitt, uh, these look really good. Those head sculpts look great. White wrist tape, you know, Young Balor or Young Devitt is looking great. And then, of course, you can't forget our last two suited bodies. Overall, really successful day of surgery, though. I think, I think, this go. Anyways, guys, before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. Of course, also, let me know what you think of all of our fix-ups and customs and things down in the comment section below. But here today, guys, Jeff Hardy's biggest fan getting the shout-out, saying, why every time someone's going to get an action figure, they change up their attire? Looking at you, Apollo. Really good point right there, Brad. Really good point. You guys know that he recently changed his gear, and we're getting an Apollo that is going to be in his short trunk. So it's already outdated. It's kind of like Braun Strowman, right? Like he, he shaved his head and then like the next day, his long haired version of himself came out. And it's like, Jesus Christ. So really good there. So a huge shout out to Jeff Hardy's biggest fan. Really appreciate that, bro. But I think I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of this episode of Action Figure Surgery. I'm going to go uh, eat some cereal. Let me know your favorite cereal down in the comment section below. And if your favorite cereal is tricks, well, then you already know what you did. What'd you do? Ah!